I feel like this should be being videotaped right now. And I don't know if this is a normal YouTube thing or not, but I'm essentially setting the stage for this video. Oh! Idea! Totes cute. Yeah, that's nice. You can't even see the, the plant. I'm moving the plant. You're not needed here. You are not needed here. How do people do this? How do they do it? Goodbye. Hello. You know what? Does it really matter? At this point, it doesn't. The world is ending. It's not actually, but potentially is. <laughs> All right. Q. If the world was ending, we'd be over, right? You'd be, you'd be over. You'd be over. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? <laughs>I'm getting ready to film a YouTube video for you guys today and I feel like because in this in this video I'm gonna be talking you're gonna see my face a lot I just really wanted to bring awareness to the fact that I'm aware there's a big pimple right here and it's what you're gonna see that's something that I just wanted to like call out right now of all things that are happening in the world right now not a big deal I just thought I would perhaps bring awareness to that, that I know it's there. I'm still deciding to talk in front of the camera. What is going on in the world? Like what is happening? WTF actually. No one knows what the frick is happening and like we're all in the exact same boat and it seems like nobody knows which direction to paddle in. So essentially we're all just lost men at sea. <laughs> so. That's good. You know, I just wanted to offer my own little uh, opinion because my name's Courtney and I love to do that. With this video, I just want to um, preface that I'm gonna tie in some of like my perspectives on things using astrology, numerology, like a spiritual lens. So if you're into that, stay tuned. If not, see you later. I obviously have no idea what I'm, what's going on. I think now more than ever, there's like a huge emphasis around the fact that literally nobody has their shit together and nobody knows what's going on. We are all literally in this space of A, not knowing anything, B, feeling all these type of emotions and feelings we've absolutely never felt before, having to leave our destiny basically up to governments and structures. But let's get real, they have no idea what they're doing either. So we're just kind of all sitting here in our houses being like, What do we do? <laughs> and that's okay. Like we're all just like in this space of being like, what? I'm not gonna name, I'm not even gonna say it, what we're talking about, because you know, you know exactly what we're talking about. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down a little bit from a different perspective. I do wanna say that 2020 is the year of four. So in numerology, when you break it down, 2020, you just take the two and the two and that equals four. So four is represented by structures systems, family systems. And I like to think of it kind of like a chair. So a chair has four legs, right? And that's kind of what holds us up. Right now, the world, um, the chair legs broke, okay? The world's, the world's chair legs are gone, they crumble. And the people who are having to pick up the pieces and put the legs back together are the government. And in astrology, the last few years, we have had so many planets in Capricorn. Now, if you don't understand what any of this means, Maybe just listen, you might learn something from this. Not an astrologer, PSA, but I love astrology and it's just my interpretation of the things that I learned. So back to what I was saying. In the last few years, there's been so many planets in Capricorn, especially in the last like six months. There's this thing called a stellium and all these planets were in Capricorn. Capricorn is like the structural guru, let's call it. So like Capricorn rules government. Um, societal structures, all these things that keep us going, they're like the powerhouse in those dynamics. All of that energy was so dense, that's probably why in the last six months, you literally felt like you were like up against a wall or just like heavy all the time. And sometimes like, mm, you hit that wall and you resist, 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 and then something has to give. Mm -hmm. Legs of the chair, 
they break. Kind of our whole structural systems are really getting a reboot right now. And the number four of being a four year, we're gonna see this theme throughout the entire 2020. That's probably why we all felt like it was gonna be such a big year because our structures of what what we do in our every, everyday life, we don't see it all the time, but there's this underlying surface, which is our structures and TBH, they weren't working for anyone anymore. So something had to give and now something new has to be made from it. Side note, Justin Trudeau, he's a Capricorn. Just to throw that one in there. The number four also kind of represents an astrology in the fourth house that has to do with family and home, where you grew up, your roots, all those kind of things. So when you think about it, four being structure, four being your home, all these things, and now we're being forced to stay at home with people and learn to connect in new and different ways and be challenged in those new and different ways. That's a lot. So 20 is handing us a platter of being like, look at this, Figure it out because you need to build some new structures that help your connections with one another so that when we move into 2021, you guys have a better grasp of what this is all about. There's another thing going on. We talk about Pluto and um, Saturn. So those are two planets that are doing some pretty funky stuff up in the sky. It's called a conjunction. It's a really challenging aspect. So Pluto is the planet that rules um, like death, rebirth, transformation. Big Daddy Saturn, it's like this this planet of like big lessons. And like, if you don't get the lessons right, it's gonna be like boom, 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 boom until you get it. That's why when you have a Saturn return, a lot of the times it's like, oh my God, what is happening? If you don't know what a Saturn return is, don't worry, I'll explain it at a later date. So these two planets are doing a little conjunction in the sky. And basically it's causing a lot of rift down here for us because the big lessons of Saturn and the death and rebirth of Pluto are just being like, eh, 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 this isn't working anymore. We need to change things up and we're feeling it down here. So whether you believe in astrology or not, you're feeling some type of way right now. So now as of last Sunday, I think it was, Saturn entered Aquarius. Saturn in Aquarius is this new, beautiful, innovative, exciting experience that is still going to be hard and still going to give us a lot of lessons in creating all the new things. Aquarius rules all of technology. So the last time Saturn was in Aquarius was in 1994 and that's when the World Wide Web was was like made. That's when it came out. That's when we realized. Now we're all being stuck in our homes and what are we doing? We're on the internet. Hello, Saturn and Aquarius. We're all gonna have to learn to work from the internet and that's happening really fast. We've already seen it. Yeah, like just to, this is a huge invitation and wake up call for the world, what's going on right now, to really like get out of your minds and think outside of the box because the old way of thinking and the old way of doing things, that's not working anymore. When there is a new path that's being forged, you can choose to go backwards. Of course you can. But why would you? You've already done it that way. And clearly it broke down for a reason. And there's some changes that have to be that have to be made here. And we as humans, we don't often initiate them until now. It's being forced upon us. And that sucks. Like it really sucks. I've there's been days I'm like laying in my bed, I'm crying, I have no idea what's going on. And I'm like, what is life? Hence why I'm making this video. Because I know there's lots of people who are feeling the same way. But this is our tower moment. This is our time to really think about what it is that we value moving forward. Where are our roots? Like, what are the new ways that we can show up in the world? New things that we can invent, new things we can create that are gonna help not only us as individuals, but the whole world globally. And when we're, we're finding new ways to work with one another via the computer, that's not just about us, that's a global, the world wide web. Wide, you know, wide. Now, I know that's so much easier said than done and like everybody's emotions are so valid and like this is going to be an emotional roller coaster, no doubt about it, but I truly and honestly believe that whatever the heck is going on in the world right now is for the better. It's for us, it's for maybe maybe the younger generations to actually take the things that they've been caring about and and you know, break through with them or maybe it's to help us so that maybe we can actually buy a home one day who knows literally right now 
all possibilities are endless and we just have to sit and wait and like that sucks things are gonna take time slow and steady but also like things are moving fast every day so i don't really know yeah honestly it's like the biggest time to just surrender and to just let go and allow things to flow now i'm a hypocrite because i really struggle with that so I need to learn and take some of my own advice. Huh. Cry a few tears, get angry, dance it out, move your body, and just find something in the meantime that maybe you love to do. Like, I don't know, maybe like to crochet. Why not try it out? I've been trying to keep my plant alive over there. It's not working. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here, and um, hopefully my next vlog is gonna be a little bit of like the quarantine self-isolation life but i will do sit down videos every now and again just to like talk about things and you know get used to this because i'm still getting used to this whole like talking in front of the camera thing so yeah thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of whatever the heck this is and i will see you guys in my next video okay bye just to uh, let you guys know look at i do have a chair now I have a chair. Like life is short, it's precious, and the time is now. Like you don't even know if we have tomorrow. 2020 has been teaching us that. So like, we gotta go. We gotta go like yesterday. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That being said, here we go.